So it is a testing season here in the United States, and we've got videos all over social media from educators about how much they hate state testing. And there are so many people in the comments not understanding why it is educators are against state testing. So let me give you a couple of reasons why we disagree with state testing and think we shouldn't have it. First and foremost, it interrupts the instructional day for everybody for five to 10 days. The entire school's instructional day is completely disrupted, not just for the kids that are being tested, but for everybody. Do you know why? Because we have to pull every resource for state testing. Every pair of professionals pulled out of the classrooms from kindergarten to special ed to give accommodations and to help moderate the classroom. The counselors are pulled out because they're usually in charge of testing, which is absolutely ridiculous, but they can't counsel anymore. The library is shut down. The computer lab is shut down because we need holding tanks if kids come in late or if they finish early. All these things happen during state testing and our instructional day is completely disrupted for 10 straight days. The amount of money we're spending on state testing is ridiculous. Over a billion dollars in the United States is spent on one data point that our politicians think that we need. Do you know what that money should be spent on? Um, extra school counselors, extra social workers, extra paraprofessionals for the uh, counselors, school nurses for every school, all day kindergarten, but instead we're using it um, on state assessment. Let me tell you when we're giving state assessment, in April and May. That's why you're seeing all these um, uh, videos come up on social media. Because all across the United States, state testing are get, state, state tests are given in April and May. Do you know when we get the scores back? In August. We get the state test scores back in August, the next school year. As an elementary school principal, all the fifth graders that are taking the test this month in my school will be gone. And we will have no way to help them because they will be gone. But we're spending billions of dollars on an assessment that we don't even get the score back to try to change instruction. And the rules that are surrounding testing are absolutely ridiculous. It's like testing police all day and all this huge list of what we can and can't do. And we're going to get written up for this. Did you know that we have to take all the content off of our walls in our classrooms? We have to pull all the content down or cover it all up because our state departments have decided that we can't have content up because it might be cheating on state testing, which is ridiculous because we teach our kids to use their surroundings to learn and then we take their surroundings away during state testing. How ridiculous is that? It is absolutely ridiculous, the pressures that we're putting on kids for state testing. We have kids with testing anxiety, coming to school sick, throwing up all day long because they don't want to have to take this test. But unfortunately, our politicians believe we need this one data point that we can't even use this school year. And the worst part of all this is the parents buy right into it. The parents want to know what the school's test score is and how they improved and what their kids are doing. If you want to know what's happening at your child's school, show up to your child's school. Come and volunteer. Talk to your counselor because you know what your counselor is doing all day long? Counseling kids who are going through divorce and being bullied. You know what your school nurse is doing all day long? Working on kids with testing anxiety and helping uh, uh, to be able to counsel kids. And we're feeding kids every day and we're building relationships with kids. But the only thing the, kid t the parents want to talk about is a test score because they bought into what the politicians are feeding them. State assessment is an absolute ridiculous thing in education these days. And we need to get rid of it and better spend that money.